Why is Kedarnath called Jagrat Mahadev? This 2 minute story will be thrilling. Don't miss a minute and watch till end. Jagrat Mahadev Once, a devotee of Shiva left for a devotional trip from his place to Kedarnath. As there was no travel facilities in those days, he started his journey by walk. To whomever he met on his way, he used to ask for the directions. But his view never faded from Shiva in his heart. Months passed and finally he reached Kedarnath. In Kedarnath, the temple doors will be closed for six months and open for another six months in a year. At the time this devotee of Shiva reached Kedarnath, the doors were about to close for another six months. He requested the temple priest saying, I have come hiking from so far to have Lord Shiva's darshan. Please show some mercy and allow me for darshan. But according to the rules in Kedarnath, the doors once closed will again be opening after six months. Again rules should be followed. The devotee of Shiva was feeling very sad and was recalling the Lord Shiva and requesting every priest. Lord, please give your darshan once. But no one of them were interacting to him. A priest announced, Devotees come here after six months. Temple doors will be open after six months from now and temple will be filled with snow and left from there. Devotee of Shiva was in tears and stayed there itself. It was night now and darkness filled all sides. But he had a faith in Lord Shiva. Believe it that Lord Shiva will definitely show some mercy on him. He started to feel hunger and thirst. Within this, he heard a sound of someone arriving there. He saw a monk coming to him. The monk walked to him and took a seat near to him. Monk asked with all due respect and graciously, Where are you from? He started to tell his story that he suffered and his effort was fruitless. The monk made him feel comfort and fed him some food he had. Monk spoke for a long time with him. Monk had a kindness towards him and said, I feel that temple will open tomorrow morning and you will be definitely get the darshan. Slowly, within no time, the devotee of Shiva slept there. Sun rays in the morning woke him up. He searched for the monk but finds him nowhere. Before he comes to the conclusion, he saw temple priests with the rest of counseling members of Kedanath temple coming together. Devotee of Shiva asked the priest, Yesterday, you announced that the temple will be open after six months and no one should see and come here. But now, why you were here in early morning? The priest took a look at the devotee and trying to identify him and asked, You are the one, right, who came at the closing time of the temple? You met me at the temple closing time and I said to you the doors of the temple will be closed. Now, it's six months after that I am opening the temple. Devotee was in shock and asks, No. I don't go anywhere for 6 months and it was yesterday right, I met you. Night, I slept here and didn't move. Now, the priest was surprised and told, but I went closing the temple 6 months back and I'm returning back now. How were you able to survive for 6 months here? Priest and his team members were tremendously surprised. How it is even possible for a human being to survive in this cold atmosphere? Then. The devotee of Shiva explained about the monk coming to him, meeting him and all to the priest and his team. Describing the looks of the monk to the priest and the devotee said, the monk was very tall and had a long beard, top knot, trisulam in one hand, holding damarukam on another hand, wearing an animal skin. Immediately, the priest fell on the knees of the devotee and said, We waited for a lifetime but still couldn't get the darshan of the Lord Shiva. And the person who came to you in the night as a monk was none other than the Lord Shiva himself. You are the real devotee. You got the real Lord Shiva's darshan. And he turned the six months into a one night with yoga mayas for you. He fed for you Kalakan and made it short. All this because of you. Pure mind and heart and attentive beliefs you got towards him. You got a, such a great luck. We salute and pay homage to your devotion.